Hey everybody, this is Wally. Uh, wanted to uh, get back with you, show you a couple of things. Um, recently I had my uh, elbow operated on, so can't really type, can't really do a whole lot. So I thought I would uh, create a little video here on uh, Monodroid on the Mac. So, you know, some of you may be aware, working on this uh, Monodroid um, book, you know, basically how to program uh, the Android platform for uh, .NET and C Sharp developers. And one of the things that the Mono guys are working on is the ability to, uh, you know, develop on the Mac. And so for that, you've got to have things like, you've got to have the Android SDK installed on the Mac, which I've done. You've got to have uh, Mono develop 2.4.2, which is the most recent version. Got that downloaded and installed, that's what's running here. Uh, you've got to have uh, Mono develop 2.8.2 installed, which I've already done. Um, you got to have this uh, Monodroid package installed, which I've done. See, so just to show you a little quick uh, thing, you could go out, you could create your own um, solution. Inside that solution, you can go in, and boom, you can hit um, Monodroid. You could hit uh, Mono Touch. So you can create your own applications. In this case, I've already created one. It's just a simple test application. Um, first thing that you'll see, I mean, this looks almost exactly like Monodroid on uh, Windows. Uh, currently, this is running with uh, Preview 11.1. So you see you've got your resources directory, and then you've got your layout, and then you've got these XML files. So if you are an Android developer, you're probably going, what is XML? What in the world is that? Well, Android, uh, you know, ha defines its user interface in these XML files. So these XML files are nothing more than the XML files for um, the UI layout, except that um, by having them defined as XML, Novell can do certain things. Like, for example, they can, uh, you know, pre build uh, or pre associate them with. Um, the IntelliSense so that when you come in and so here's like a linear layout and you say okay I'm gonna stick another I'm gonna stick a button in here and you can get some um, IntelliSense so it can help you walk through this and this is exactly the way it works how it works on um, in the Visual Studio side um, so that's your uh, layout you could create more layout files um, you can uh, create your strings and embed them as resources here. In this case, I'm just using the default application for Monodroid, so that's what this says. I mean, the name of my application is MDR Test. I mean, and then, you know, it's Hello World, click me. Um, then you can see that we've got our activities. And from our activities, you can see this is our basic setup. We've got, um, you know, we do our set content view. Um, we've got a button that we're going to go create, and that's defined here. And then we're going to go create the uh, the click event. In this case, we're just going to update the uh, text of the button. But you know, this is the basics. This is how we get things done. Um, so now let's run up here and we want to do a short uh, little build, show you this running, show you the process on it. Um, so right now we're going to uh, start up a emulator session. And this is just an SDK um, session that I had already created called test. Um, you can create them based on a number of different factors. I believe this is an Android 2.3 uh, session, it may be a 2.2. Um, you know, you could download and create other Android um, options. Like, for example, yesterday I downloaded and put on my Windows machine uh, the Motorola Zoom, which was one of the darlings of CES. It's going to be a uh, you know a 10-inch. Uh, tablet form factor uh, running Android. It's supposed to be out sometime in February. Not quite sure about that, um, but you know it'll be out sometime hopefully. All right, so we're up here now. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock. Switch back over here. We're gonna select a device to deploy our application to. 
So I select the running emulator, and then we're gonna go and we're gonna deploy some stuff. Hopefully everything works. Everybody, you know, cross your fingers on this. And boom, there it is. Um, we've got a uh, activity starting up, which is our um, test activity. Um, we're currently undergoing the uh, you know just-in-time compilation process here, and then eventually our button will show up. So uh, let's see. Hopefully, hopefully it'll show up here soon. Um, as you can tell, this is a um, you know this is an early release of the uh, the Mac support. Uh, you know, it's not. It's definitely not a. Um, you know, a final release because there's a lot of features and a lot of functionality that's, uh, you know, it's not quite there yet. Um, but I think they're getting there. Um, let's see. Um, in fact, the Mac support, this is preview, like I said, it's preview 11.1. Preview 11.1 literally just came out yesterday, less than 24 hours ago. I decided that since I've got my arm in this sling and, you know, a cast on my arm, that I was going to, uh, you know, get the Mac stuff up and going, and so voila, here it is. Um, so now, what's going to happen? You can tell from our code. Let's just, let me just show you that real quick. On a button click, we're going to update the text of it. As you can see. So now, hopefully, good things will happen here, and boom, there it is. So we're able to get, uh, you know, the the default application up and going, and you can tell just from, you know, some of the statuses, we've got some network connectivity, which is really just being provided by the, the MacBook that I've got. Can run back over here. Let's see. Just show you a couple more things on the uh, Mac side. Or I guess really more on the the Android side. A couple of things. Let's see. Applications. We can show you the applications that are currently there. We've got two applications. Um, this one is the application that we just uh, installed, and that's our MDR test. And then here's our MonoDroid runtime. So um, what we can do. One thing I want to mention on this: there's two ways to ship an application in MonoDroid. Uh, or an application written with Monodroid. You can ship it as just the executable itself. Um, and then that would assume that the uh, system that's being installed on, so the device that's being installed on, already has a copy of the Monodroid runtime on it. Um, that's probably not realistic. Um, that may be realistic sometime out in the future, um, but for right now, for you know the you know initial testing, um, you probably want to run with the embedded runtime, which is which is another option, and that's an option in, up in your properties. But it's good to see that the Monodroid runtime does get installed, so it can be tested out and shared and all that. Um, I actually have that running over here on my Windows side. The an application runs just by uh, just using the embedded runtime, so the application the runtime and the garbage collector and all that kind of stuff is all embedded there together. So, all right. So, hopefully this has been a little short uh intro into uh Monodroid and running it on the Mac and uh actually I hope it's been helpful for you guys. Thanks a lot.